Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Hey everyone, Luke Immerse Prime here, so it is time for the next episode of Mover Didn't Need a Sequel, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be covering this time an example of a fantasy film which I think did not need a sequel and was better off staying as a standalone movie, and this film is also a retelling of a Brothers Grimm tale, Snow White, and as you probably guessed by that and the title and thumbnail of this video, the film I'm going to be covering is none other than of course 2012's Snow White and the Huntsman. So, you guys are probably wondering, what do I think of this movie? Well, I saw this film on Netflix last year, and I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was, in my opinion, underrated as well. I think it has a great cast of actors, and I definitely really loved Chris Hemsworth as the Huntsman himself, Eric. And I definitely as well loved other cast members as well in this. And one particular honourable mention I've got to give is, is definitely to Charlize Theron as the, the, the film's villain, Queen Ravenna. I definitely really loved her. She was definitely a great villain in, in this movie. Just really terrifying too, in my opinion. I think Charlie's Theron nailed it, in my opinion. And was just, you know, a re really brilliant character to watch. Now, you guys are also probably going to be asking me what did I think of Christian Stewart as Snow White herself. Well, I thought she was okay at best, as for in my opinion. I mean, I definitely think she was better in this one than she was in Twilight, in my opinion, most definitely. I, I think in this film, she was okay at best. Oh, well, personally, guys, I do prefer her way more in, in other things that she's been in. Um, so I, I prefer her much more in, in the film Spencer and also as well in the film um, Zafura Space Adventure. And in this role, I thought she was okay, in my opinion. And the story is also good, so it's, it's a very nice retelling of, of a Snow White tale. And, 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 and there's also great visual effects as well in the movie, too, and, and also a great soundtrack as well by James Newton Howard. And it's a very good movie, in my opinion. And on the topic of why, in my opinion, the film did not need a sequel, the film has a pretty good ending because the dwarves, of course, infiltrate the castle through the sewers and they open the gates, which allows the army inside. And we get a pretty good fight scene between, between Snow White and Ravenna. Ravenna is about to kill her, but Snow White uses a, uses a move that Eric has taught her and stabs Ravenna to death. So right there, the evil Wolf Queen has been defeated at last. And... The kingdom enjoys peace as Snow White is then crowned the new queen of Tabor. So, right there, that is a, is a happy ending for the characters right there, and the villain was defeated. However, unfortunately, we did, however, get a sequel released four years later. And that, of course, was The Huntsman Winter's War. And I saw this film after I saw the first movie, and... Unfortunately, I found it to be very disappointing in comparison. It had its moments, in my opinion, but in my opinion, the film was not needed and was disappointing in, in comparison to this good first movie. The good is that Chris Hemsworth returns as Eric, and he was once again good as always. It's one of my favourite roles of Chris Hemsworth, and I think he did, he did his best with what he was given. And other surprise roles too, like Nick Frost and Sam Claflin were also good once again as well. And there is also one cast member who does come back, but unfortunately I was not happy about the, about the character coming back because it may be defeating the first one part. And if, if you've seen the sequel, you know what I'm talking about. And, and, and the way this film worked was it was both a prequel and a sequel because it was also, or as well, of course, you know, giving us backstory to Queen Ravenna, really. And of course, we get introduced to her sister Freya, who is probably Emily Blunt. And the thing that confused me is that, in my opinion, her existence came out of nowhere in the sequel because because when I saw her first movie, I do not recall Queen Ravenna bringing up her sister at all. So, I do feel that, in my opinion, um, Freya was brought out of nowhere in this movie. Emily Blunt was good as her with the direction she was given. She's a great actress, but I feel the character came out of nowhere, in my opinion. And also as well, when it comes to characters who, who of, of course, are returning, there is also one character, of course, from the first film who only appears by archive footage and is heavily underutilised. And that is, unfortunately, Snow White because... 
because despite being, of course, the title character, well, one of them alongside a huntsman in the first film, in this film, she's only reduced to being ill in the movie. And and when, of course, she is, you know, recovered, they, they, they only use archive footage of Christian Stewart as a soul. So, yeah, that was definitely disappointing, in my opinion. And I, I didn't really like how that was handled, in my opinion, because, like... She's a main character of the first film, but in the sequel, she's barely in it, only appearing by archive footage and having a laugh. Because, like I said, guys, I thought Kristen Stewart was okay as her with what she was given, in my opinion. I didn't think she was terrible, but by any means, I just thought she was okay at best, in my opinion. And when it comes to things being made pointless as well, guys, as I touched upon earlier, the film brings back one character who of course, was in the first film, and made their defeat pointless, and as you probably guessed, it's Queen Ravenna. So, so yeah, they, they basically brought her back into this film, and, and it made her defeat in the first film completely, you know, only pointless and meaningless, so I was a bit disappointed with that. It was basically doing the whole cliche of bringing back a villain who's been defeated before in, in a previous movie, and making their defeat in that film pointless, so they did it with Ian, and I was not happy about that. I think it would have been a lot better if Queen Ravenna stayed dead, to be honest. I think it was definitely a, a big mistake how they brought Ravenna back because it made her defeat in the first film pointless. And I feel the film is also misleading as well because because I do feel that um, despite being called, of course, the Huntsman Winter's War, that there literally really isn't a war to begin with. Yeah, because I have a question. What war? Because I didn't even see any war happening really in this. I do feel the film was also a little bit boring too, in my opinion, due to that reason. There wasn't much action, in my opinion, either. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, the only things that I thought was good was, was probably Chris Hemsworth returning as Eric and others who reprised their roles too. And even though her defeat in the first film was now made pointless, I still, I still think Charlie's was still good as Ravenna with what she was given to. And the film is also narrated by Liam Neeson as well, so I guess that's also a nice guilty pleasure because Liam Neeson is one of my favorite actors of all time. And also, the magic mirror in this film is also voiced by Fred Tyshaw as well. So, I guess that's another guilty pleasure because he's one of my favourite voice actors of all time. And I do also as well feel that um, the new character Sarah, played by Jessica Chastain, was also, in my opinion, a little bit bland as well at times. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Jessica Chastain as an, as an actress. But personally, though, oh, I do think this role of hers was definitely better than her role in, in X-Men Dark Phoenix, as I call it. I think she was much better in this than that, but I still feel her character was a little bit bland and annoying, in my opinion. I like it far better than other roles, to be honest. So, long story short, guys, in my opinion, Snow White and the Huntsman was better off staying as a standalone movie. Just one movie alone, in my opinion. Because while the sequel had its moments, I feel it was very disappointing in, in comparison to the reasons I've just talked about. So, yeah, this film was, was, was better off on its own, in my opinion. Just one movie, to be completely honest. So, guys, this is me covering why, in my opinion, Snow White and the Huntsman did not need a sequel. A movie that didn't need a sequel. And and when it, when it comes to what on, guys, I own the first one on Blu-ray. And I'm, I'm not, not planning to buy a sequel. I don't see why I should. No reason why I should. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to, also in the, in the comments, what you guys think of Snow White and the Huntsman. Do you need a sequel or not? Let me comment below what you think. Also, be or to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe for more videos in the future. If you would like to be a member, you can join these in a piece of the article in the description, and I'll see you all later.